All right, on to race number three on the program, and the third is the other section of the Great George Handicap. So class four wants more 1,200 metres. Alcazar drops into class four for the first time. Spring winner, last start course and distance winner. Clear choice, beaten favourite. He finished fourth behind Born Dragon last time out. Nashashuk, first up since June. Showing character, was also beaten favourite last time out. He finished fourth behind Cheerful Jet. But Paddington was runner-up on his last start, and Bingo tries Happy Valley for the first time. He does. I wonder whether he can potentially lead. Nashashuk's the interesting runner in the race. He's come up with gate one. He's had a number of trials leading in. I haven't been overly taken with them. But he is a winner course and distance. So too is Spring win at his last start. And then you've got a horse like Alcazar is caught wide. The show can race handy. There didn't look to be a huge amount of pace in the race. Clear choice is an interesting one whether they want to go back with him or maybe change the tactics and roll on. Quite keen, Nasha Shook here. Now, he's put on 36 pounds, uh, 32 pounds, I should say, but he looks good for it. I think he's going well uh, here in this particular gallop, and um, he's uh, cruising along there nicely enough, so he's quite forward. Uh, showing character's only a little chap, but uh, normally uh, works well. You can see he's going nicely once again here this morning. He's uh, been quite consistent this season as well. Showing character, Karis Teet in the board, and uh, he'll do the riding on race day as well. And Paddington, he, he's in a horse that sort of flashes home late. Um, with this horse, he's yet to win here from his nine starts, but it's another one that has been running quite well, and he seems to be going OK in these conditions we had in the morning. All right. We'll uh, have a look at him in uh, due course. We're going to start things off, though, with the last start winner. And don't forget about this uh, small jackpot as well. I say small, 600,000 going into the, uh, the six-up. So, uh, again, a healthy return is what we're looking at uh, there. An estimated uh, dividend of a region of $3 million. Spring win then wins here as he rolls in. And uh, Luv Chungwa, just off the boil on this night. Yeah, he was sort of going well earlier on in the season, wasn't he, Love Chung but he hasn't quite found the line um, since. But spring win, this was a good effort. He sat deep and was still able to uh, wear down the opposition. He is a horse, I think, that's got a bit more scope, but he's drawn low this side. I'm, I don't know whether that might be a little negative, but I get the feeling he likes a bit of galloping room, so maybe a low barrier might be a, quite, a little bit of a hindrance, but the horse is going well. Yeah, I've, I've, I've snuck him in, but... I. It was a hard run, as you mentioned, Brett. It, mm. was, it was wide the whole way. So as long as that hasn't taken too much out of him. He's had a few problems in the past, this horse, and everything seems to be going well for him. And he's always had the ability. All right, OK. Uh, clear choice we can see next, along with Confucius uh, Spirit. The two of them worked home quite well behind um, the big prize winner, Born Dragon. Yep, clear choice. He's got the barrier draw 11, so he'll get back. Um, Zach Purden aboard here. He's been running, his last two runs have been pretty good from him, so I wouldn't be surprised if he ran uh, well once again. And Confucius Spirit was a winner here three starts ago over the course and distance, and Frankie Law's got him going OK. I like him a lot, clear choice as a horse going mm. forward. I don't know whether he's got the pace to lead or potentially go forward in this, but I wonder whether it might be something they might try now that he's drawn out in 11, and on paper there doesn't look to be a huge amount of pace because if he got up there somewhere near the lead I think he'd still find the line pretty well. All right Paddington uh, got pretty close uh, last time he was to beat three lengths I suppose wasn't it, by Cheerful Jet but it was his best run for a while. Yeah the winner was uh, in one race the rest mm. in another as you say Andrew but yes he, he did run well he got all the favours he had a claim and barrier number one uh, no claim this time and a more awkward barrier stepping again to the 1200. Um, we've seen a couple of hints from him of ability, but he's been inconsistent. Yeah, I, I didn't put him in in the end. I sort of had him in originally, but I, he just sort of dropped off late. I wouldn't be surprised if he ran well. Uh, he said, as I said, nine starts, but he, he, there's, there's something there with him. Mm. All right, Nasha Shook. He's actually come up as favourite here as well, Nasha Shook. We haven't seen him for a while. Last time on the race course, he actually crossed the line in front, was subsequently disqualified. Um, he's had five trials coming in as well. Yeah, a quiet trial. This is a quiet trial. He was just at the back here but his track work was good leading into this and he has, as I said he's put on that weight I think it's a good thing for him barrier one he'll get a soft run hasn't raced since the middle of June so he's first up look we've spoken about this trial on the weekend that's refined treasure alongside a premiere and house of fun and all these good horses there was no real fast time on the clock um, and he was quietly out the back I'd be following the market and use that as a guide and the market says he's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> right, okay. um, did you put him in, Paul? Yeah, I got him on top. I, yeah. I just think he'll get the best run in behind. He's quite well rated because he's won because he was disqualified last time. Uh, he's won off this rating before, so uh, got him on top to beat Clear Choice. Uh, he'll be finishing off late. Spring win was a good win last time, no doubt, but it was a hard run. But I think he, he's definitely got the ability, and the pennies dropped for him. And showing character is another one that's been pretty consistent. I'll play exotics, but uh, six five three eight. The more I looked at this race, the more I was sort of 
umming and ahhing. So I'm going to shop for some value. I'm going to make Cool the Lot my long shot of the night. His first up run for the best part of seven months was terrific behind Peace Combination. Up to 1,200, that's where he's done his winning. He will be hoping for some pace. If he gets it, I think he might run a race at a bit of uh, value. He's quite well rated, Cure Volant. And uh, he's an eight-year-old now, but he's still got something in him, I think. Clear choice, I think, if they go forward, can run a race. Showing character should get a good run. And Spring win, good win from him last start. I just think maybe a low barrier might be a slight negative. I'm going to play on each way scenario here with the seven. All right, OK. I didn't think he would be favourite Nasha Shook, but I've got him on top as well. All right, that was the first leg of the six-up. Little bonus in there, decent set bonus in the triple trio as well. We'll have a look at that next.